This video is not anything to do with the devices themselves in terms of their capabilities, their features, their operating systems, or anything else along those lines. Reason being, it doesn't matter. This is an LCD LED, and we're just going to say traditional LCD. It just makes more sense. Basically, this is going to be the same as your phone. This is going to be the same as your computer, your TV, everything that you kind of know about a regular color screen that you see is going to be this in a nutshell. This is a latest technology that is on the up and up that is actually threatening e-paper to a certain degree, which is our LCD, Reflective Liquid Crystal Display. You can see that in terms of refreshes, it's the exact same thing. There's not going to be any differences in the overall frame rate, the refresh, or anything like that. It's going to be very smooth, it's going to be very fluid, and it's not going to lag, and you don't need any speed modes. Things like e-paper devices, you need those speed modes in order to speed it up because it just becomes unusable. So the main question is, why does it look like this? Well, this has a backlight on, but even if you were to turn it off, it still doesn't look like this because you can't turn it off. You can only turn it down. This is essentially the same panel as this, but without a backlight. Now, there's something very interesting you should know. So, for example, if we go back to where we were about 50% and I block out a circle with my hand, you'll see that you can see right through it because this has a backlight shining light into your face. This will go away. You can't see anything because you've blocked it. And if I block the light, you'll see here, if I go to the home screen and I go over to something, you can't see it anymore because I'm actually blocking the light out. And if this doesn't have light, you can't see it. There's no image. And this is because it utilizes the ambient light around you in order to create an image. And this will become very clear if I turn on my cell phone light. You will see it gets very vibrant right around there. Look how vibrant that logo gets if I shine it and I don't shine it. If I shine it and I don't shine it, you can see how much more colors are being visible when I do that. It actually comes at a detriment to standard LCD because if I do that, it just gets really reflective and bright and it actually you can't see the image. If I point this into the studio light, it'll be very evident. You'll see there's the studio light right there with its dampening umbrella well you can see that clear as day you can even point out the logo of the umbrella we're using now if you do that same thing with the rlcd you, you can't see it because it's breaking down the light and it's reflecting it back in your eyes but if i'm trying to choose my apps and some clouds go overhead well it's gone look at that it's basically unviewable and it's night and day almost literally night and day look at that look how nice that looks in its current state that looks great auto rotate is on which you can just turn off by swiping the top down so you swipe the top down and this is a ui thing it doesn't matter oh this is a good time to point that out look at this watch this watch this you see that so if i grab this and i change it to this angle i can see what's on there i can still see it can still interact and if i go this way i can still see it and if i go this way all glare aside i can still see it you can basically see it at any angle but with our lcd if you choose a place say right here at my body where there's no direct light well that's it the screen might as well be off because it's not getting enough ambient light to show you anything if i point it against kind of the white wall behind the camera well it's still visible because i still have the ability to suck in some light go over here to this studio light boom no problem go over here to this one even better however the second you turn the lights off you got nothing so that is the drawback with this now with this type of device the rlcd will actually consume 80 percent less battery than its counterpart meaning that this utilizes way more battery to keep going than this would to do the same thing. You can see both of these perfectly fine. There's no real issues with that. You can 
consume what is on the screen based off of what is being displayed on both. Whereas, and I say that like no duh, but when you get e-ink, you gotta turn those speed modes on because if you don't, it just gets really laggy and you can't really tell what's going on. But this, there's no question. I'm on a web page. I see it just fine. I can tilt it like this. Oh, you know, I can't really, oh, there we go. Look at that. Now it's boom. It just explodes with color and vibrancy. Oh, my hand's getting in the way. I can do little, I can do little dinosaur finger puppet animals right there, but it just gets in the way. There's there's major downsides with our LCD, but there's major upsides. It has complete lack of battery use, which is great. This will last a very long time, but you get all the refresh. However, you are heavily, you are, you are live and die by that light. Now, there have been some advancements in the sector with companies like EZI out of Hong Kong that have TLCD, which is transflective LCD. This is reflective, which means it uses ambient light, but TLCD will actually utilize a backlight as well, kind of bridging the gap between this and that and still giving you a ton of benefits, but that's a story for another day. Basically, if you have a traditional LCD LED, you're going to run out of batteries pretty quick. I charge my phone every single day. Every single day. I have a Big Me High Break that, granted, I don't use every day, but it's an e-ink phone. The thing lasts a month as long as you don't touch it. But it can be on. That's the point of it all. Now, this has a very glaring downside, all pun intended, in that it looks very metallic. It looks extremely metallic, no matter which way you look at it. It's very shiny, but not in a good way. It's kind of shiny and almost like a steel etching. And you don't quite get the vibrancy that you would on a traditional LCD LED. It's just there's something missing. When you look at that, it looks very flat. It's not a lot of dimension to it. Whereas on something that we all know and love, like basically anything, it's just gonna look really vibrant. Now, this does affect your eyes a lot more. And whether you say, you know, that's been debunked or disproven or whatever, looking at e-ink on a daily basis myself, and utilizing alternative technologies like MIP and this type of technology with reflectivity and TLCD and stuff like that. I never grab the bridge of my nose and go, ah, oh, man, my, my eyes are tired. But staring at LCD screen, staring at a computer screen, I do just that because this is a lot more detrimental to your eyes, whether you have blue light cut, whether you turn the glow light down, whatever, your eyes are working harder to consume what is happening here versus here. So there is eye care thrown into it at the same time as well. Now, we're not going to talk too much about reading or anything like that because this is just the fundamentals and the inherent nature of these two units is that reflective LCD certainly requires you to work harder for your money because you go like that you can't see it. you go like that maybe it's too bright but you wish it looked like that all the time and it gets dark out and you try to find a glow light but there isn't one there because they don't have glow lights the grand majority of reflective LCDs don't have glow lights yet. But this is an up and coming kind of technology in the e-reader sector. It's not new like 2025 this just came out. Reflectivity properties have been added to LCD and LED for quite some time. But what I mean is we are seeing manufacturers kind of around or in our scope turn to this and utilize this and compete with e-ink and full color electronic paper displays by just utilizing an LCD panel. TCL is a very strong candidate for this discussion in that they promote that they have a full color electronic paper display, but they're just using an LCD panel with some little optimization tweaks. So you are going to see a lot more on this with companies like Ezai and Daylight and Hanspri themselves coming out and these guys just released a color one as well, the Hanspree. We're trying to get our, uh, our hands on that one. And it's called a color one. And we're not sure why it's called a color one because this one has color. So we're going to wait and see what is going on with that. But for now, this is just a quick kind of side-by-side. -side. If you guys are confused about what the R stands for in RLCD, it is reflectivity or reflective. And everyone, have a good day.